So let's take a look at the breakdown of the full effect that was used in the last episode. First up we filmed the shot in the gravel covered car park at the back of the local village hall. And then using a frame from the video I created a matte painting of the desert background. I combined the video and the matte painting using a mask created with the Roto Bezier tool and an Alpha Overnode. Next step was to model out the tank, or something that resembles a tank anyway, and then was rendered out to a ping file. This was then given some blurring, some noise, and uh, some colour correction to try and help it to blend into the scene. I, uh, I then modelled out some simple jets, nothing fancy really, no textures or anything, because they're going to be going so fast it shouldn't matter. Um, and then these were animated out to a ping sequence. And again, that was combined with an alpha overnode, a bit of blurring and colour correction. I then created a smoke simulation of the dust which uh, went towards the camera. And I did two instances of this. And they were set at different timings and uh, to create a nice uh, engulfment. And, uh, and these were then multiplied over the image. Finally I created the mask for the dust so that when the foreground elements were um, hit by the dust they sort of got enveloped by it. And uh, and then that's it really. So here's a look at the final node chain and as you can see it's quite complex. Uh, but it's not too bad if you consider, if you took it, turned it on side uh, it would look just like a, a bunch of layers really in Photoshop or something along those lines. And here we have the final effect again. So you can see this effect in the last episode of Blend Up Film, which if you click on the annotation, uh, you'll be able to go straight to that video. Thanks very much for watching.